Good morning, people. And I say morning lightly because it's already nearly 1030. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I was lazy this morning because I got up around 745 or so, but I definitely moved kind of slow this morning. I don't know about y'all, but when the clouds are overcast like this and the temperature drops, you know, 10 or more degrees from what it was yesterday, it just kind of slows me down. Anyway, today I'm coming at you because it's just one of those days where yesterday was so beautiful and I hope you guys got a chance to go outside Today's not quite as beautiful. It's okay. But it feels like the kind of day that we should stay inside and do some reading. So you could just, um, for today's assignment, you could do book love. If you want to read for 20 minutes and then go ahead and write up a real short, like, journal about what you read and what's going on in the book and what the book is and whatnot. That, that'll give you about 30 minutes of work or so. Read for 20 minutes, write for 10 minutes. That's math. I did it. I'm pretty good at this. Now, if you don't want to do that, though, if you're like, I just need something new and exciting. Because that's what we really need. We're stir crazy. We need something new and exciting. I'm going to put a challenge out there for you to read a short story that you've never read before. And this isn't technically new material because I'm not mandating that you do it. But it's an opportunity for you to read something that you've never read before. And I've got a few options for you. I think you can see the tabs that are open on my computer right now. And the first one that I have up is The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. It's a really famous short story. And it, it messes with tone and mood quite a bit. And I don't want to get too technical because it might scare some of you away because you're like, I don't want to think too much. But it's dark and it's creepy, but in a subtle way. And in the end, you're going to have to ask yourself, what? Why? How? And I want you to think about what the commentary is. If you read this story, what are the aspersions it's casting on tradition and why? Because some traditions are definitely good but others are a problem. And so we need to examine tradition and figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. Um, so that's what I want you to do with that one if you decide to read that story. My other short story that I really, really love is by um, Kurt Vonnegut Jr., who wrote Slaughterhouse-Five and Cat's Cradle. And side note, I read Cat's Cradle and it was really good. And Kurt Vonnegut is one of those classic authors that like everybody has read. I've never read Slaughterhouse Five, even though it's his most famous work. And it's on my list of books that I'm embarrassed that I haven't read. So maybe I should consider reading that during my quarantine here. Anyway, this is called Harrison Bergeron. And it's a short story. It's not very long, as with all short stories, hence the name. But it is a fascinating look at like a world. I don't know why I say like so much. I need to knock that off a world where the government has tried to make everyone completely equal, but in all the wrong ways. Is it science fiction? Nah, I would say it's science fiction is the genre here. But this one's really cool, it's really interesting, and it's kind of tragic. So if you're interested in that one, go ahead and give it a read. I think it's a fun but disturbing read as opposed to the other one that's just kind of creepy. So like, if you like horror movies, you might like The Lottery. If you like sci-fi futuristic thrillers you might like Harrison Bergeron I've got a third one here and this one is definitely it's coming with a caveat which is uh, a warning the hills like white elephants is by Ernest Hemingway and it's one of the most powerful short stories that I've read it's uh Ernest Hemingway had a knack for reading people and writing amazing dialogue and really getting you to believe that the people in the story are actual people going through actual actual situations. There's two people in the story, and I think there's a wait or two, and they're just sitting at a train station. But the topic that they're avoiding talking about or they, they're using circumlocution to talk around is a really disturbing one. So I would advise that you only read this story if you are feeling up to reading about something that is definitely a political hot button topic. And uh, if you choose to read it, let your parents know ahead of time that you're considering reading a book um, or a short story that might be a little bit disturbing. This one's probably more for the juniors than the freshmen. Let me just throw that out there. If I was a freshman, I'd read one of the other two. I'd read The Lottery. I'd read Harrison Bergeron. If I was a junior, I'd consider Hills Like White Elephants because it's definitely a more adult topic. I mean, it's not sex or anything, because, yee, but uh, it's related. So that one's definitely um, 
it's on the more mature level. So those are three great options for short stories. There are lots and lots of other short stories. You could just type into Google the greatest short stories of all time and find one. And if you haven't read these, if you haven't read short stories, you will find as you're reading them that there are so many of them that are alluded to by pop culture. Like you may have watched Family Guy or Rick and Morty or any other types of movies that are topical and, and kind of contemporary. And they have pulled heavily from these short stories. Um, anyway, there's also some really good Ernest Hemingway ones that are about Michigan because he came, well, he summered in Michigan. There's one called The Big Two-Hearted River. Really good, but kind of long. And it comes in two parts. And uh, I really enjoyed that one as well. So that's pretty much all I got for you. If you made it this far with my rambling on a day like today, read a short story. And then after you've read that short story, do a brief little review of it, like legit review, like you're a film critic or something, literary critic, I guess, in this instance, write up what you liked, what you disliked, how many stars you gave it, would you recommend it to a friend, that sort of thing. I don't want you to spend a lot of your day on this. I just want you to... Uh, Read a little bit, relax, maybe drink some tea or some coffee and uh, find a comfy spot to curl up and have a new experience. OK, remember, lottery. Good. Harrison Bergeron. Good. Hills like white elephants. Mature audiences only. OK, if you're a freshman, you read it. That's on you because I suggested it for juniors, not freshmen. All right. That's me signing off. You guys have a great day. Love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay indoors. And uh, keep reading. And keep engaged. Peace. That didn't stop the recording. There we go. I found the button. You'd think after like 25 videos I would have figured this out, but totally not. So, all right. Have a good one.